it as, I'm just telling you how I took it. As I did the show in November, December, I didn't do it for two, three months. Nobody really knew, didn't know the reason why I wasn't doing it. And when I picked back up, it seemed like, oh, this nigga Kim doing sports shows one week, not doing it. That's how I took it. If I took it wrong, I apologize. So when I seen that, I'm like, niggas coming at me? Pause. I ain't even bothering nobody. I'm just trying to do my shit. I put up a little video about Nori and Joe Buttons and this, that, and the third. If y'all wasn't talking about me, I truly apologize. I just, the re I'm telling you why I took it like that. So, shout especially Nori, because that's my nigga for 20 something years. So, I, me and me and him, good, we good now, but he said I never publicly apologize. Cool. I'm doing sports. I'm not bombing nobody. During these sports shows, me and Murder talk about times from back in the days. Now, mind you, so I'm taking this show. Me and May start the show March is December. Just to give y'all an idea what's going on. We are number two in analytics when it comes to all debate sports shows, or sports shows period on YouTube, or analytics per month. Only people ahead of us in sports on YouTube, and this is no disrespect to no other sports shows or nothing like that, is first take. So I'm not, and I'm not shitting on nobody, no other sports shows because all your sports shows, you know, gave me life to want to do this. I grew up watching Sports Center. I grew up watching Skip Bill. Even though I talk about Skip Bill, this on the show and give him a hard time. We got We can't act like Skip ain't a staple in the sports community. Shannon Sharp, another nigga, gave me inspiration to do it because he was being himself. Number two, we num we number two. Analytics, straight up and down. It is with his number two sports show on YouTube. With the big shows in the morning. Well, well, during our time that we come on, I should say. I don't want to say all the sports shows, but 8 in the morning, Eastern time. First take, guys, shout out to the big homie, Stephen A. Smith. So during our shows, sometime, me and Mace talk about old stories. I've known Mace since I was 11 years old, maybe younger than that, maybe 9 or 10 years old. So we talk about old stories. And I ain't going to be long-winded because I don't want to be up here all day. I just want to make sure everybody's super clear on why I'm doing this. During one of our shows, I was talking about how me and Mace in the 90s, so I was talking about the actual year I was talking about was 1992. We was in the whole house. And we was laughing, having fun. And we saying we, you know, we whatever, we was in the whole house. Mace, you know, Mace don't always give me permission to talk about our old stories because, you know, he's a man of God and he got other shit going on, but he remembers his past sometimes, so sometimes he's let me talk. Anyway, I'm talking about this time. We in the whole house and all that shit. Talking about um, we slid a bitch, all this shit. Cool, whatever. I see a clip where on on Joe Button's podcast where Melissa Ford is talking about, oh, it might have been underage girls in there. First of all, I only like older bitches. Second of all, it was 1992. We was underage. That's A and B. I, we wasn't supposed to be in there. We wasn't 18. I just turned motherfucking 16. I ain't even defending myself on that nonsense. You're not even from this country. I don't know what the fuck was going on in the, in the whole houses in Canada or wherever you from or whatever pedophile shit they on, wherever you from. We not on that. I ain't even going into that. More of the story, she said it. Knowing the times we in, Joe Buttons and them went in on her or whatever. They're like, yo, that's some serious allegations to stand in third. But they didn't edit it out. So from two things I take from that, they either threw her under the bus or they said, fuck it, let's get the ratings or whatever they want to do. Either way it came out, it could have been edited out. It wasn't live like I'm doing live right now. So I ignored it because it's nonsense. So I ignored the shit. We said a little something on our show, but we don't get that. We don't give. See, they we don't give this type of energy I'm doing on live. That type of business on our show, my nigga. Our shit is sports and our fun. So this energy don't go on our show. This cam energy on my own personal time. So we said a little something. I ain't even say nothing. I said, "Fuck the bitch. The bitch don't know what she's talking about. Whatever." So. Yesterday, whatever day she issues an apology, I'm like, 
Nah, don't apologize. Because I was going to address it when I felt like addressing it. But the reason I addressed it yesterday is because it's like, yo, you say that foul shit? Because that's some foul shit to say. Man felt like that shit, like, and the times we in for you to make them type of allegations, don't know what the fuck you talking about? You serious? Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Stop playing with niggas, man. Anyway, she tried to apologize, and I said to myself, nah, because if I address it in a month or whenever I felt like addressing it, people would be like, oh, Kim, she apologized, leave it alone. You can't just say shit like that, and, and three days later, two days later, be like, oh, my bad, I wasn't thinking. You damn right you wasn't thinking. You, you wasn't thinking. Y'all shouldn't have said that. Um, you know, that's some serious allegations. Why well, say that in the beginning? You're not even from here. You're not even from this country. I could have went straight to ice tea, fucked you in the bathroom for $2,000 when you was fucking doing waitressing. I didn't even go there. You used to fuck in the bathroom. The Kit Kat Club, one of them old ass club, bitch. Stop. You a video vixen. Anyway, so I dressed it yesterday. I'm like, nah. Don't say sorry because some, that's some serious shit. And I didn't even get at you the way I should have got at you. I left it alone. I'm like, this bitch is bugging. Try to say sorry. So I addressed it yesterday. So I wake up today to go on live. I'm banned for two days on live for who knows. I said, let me see why. It's the picture where it's been flagged and I'm banned from live. Whatever. That shit don't bother me, all them little technology games y'all playing, nigga. I'm from the payphone era, nigga. I had a beeper. I had a beeper, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Shit don't bother me. So, the reason I'm doing this live is just to break that down for people who didn't even understand what was going on. I was going to leave it alone, but then she says sorry, which the sorry wasn't even genuine. That shit was fake. I don't know even convinced her to do this shit, but whoever did, that was smart. Because, you know, now if I sue niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker, right? Now if I sue y'all niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker. Well, I might be a sucker. I just might be. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. Pause. I'm thinking about being a sucker. For defamation of character. Next thing I see when I wake up, my man shows me. Because like I said, y'all niggas, I, I don't pay y'all niggas on my, I don't know when y'all come on. I don't want to, I don't, I don't know. And, and listen, it's no slight to y'all, no disrespect to y'all, but what y'all do is use this live right now for content. For content. Y'all, we do sports. How the fuck you know what's going on on our show to talk about on y'all show? We do sports, bro. But this will be more content for the show. Watch. This will be the whole topic of their next show. This is what they do, so this is the last time I'm doing it. They don't care about getting ass whippings over there. They don't care about dissing niggas. They don't care about no consequences. It's all content for the show. They don't give a fuck. And this will be their content for this show, which is fine. So now, I wake up, and my man shows me uh, Queen's Flip talking about nobody going to help Melissa Ford, none of you podcasters. Help over do what? Disrespect niggas some more? Niggas act like I'm coming for them. Every action has a reaction. You can't do what you do and just then, then when somebody reacts to what you do, you be like, oh, why are they reacting like that?
Queens Flip. Nobody gonna help ML Ford. Nobody gonna help ML Ford. Now this nigga here, Queens Flip. I took this little nigga under my wing. Under my wing. Not like that everyday shit. I took a liking to the nigga pause and I was giving this nigga mad advice. He was podcasting. I'm not, I don't, I wasn't into that shit. I'm telling him what to do, how to get sponsors. Yo, oh, you got this many views, you should go do this. Oh, you got this many dudes, you should go do that. Oh, you should go do this. It's teaching them game that I'm in, in a game that I'm not even in. He wanted to do skits. Popping up to my events. I got sneaker release. You know, I got sneakers. He pop up to the sneaker release. Playing games. Can I do a skit? Can I do a skit? Yeah, come on, let's do a skit. I'll do a skit with that nigga. Come on, let's do a skit. Yo, can I do another skit? Yeah, do, come on, let's do a skit. Yo, can I wear your, your army jacket and the stuff from the Get em Girls video in the skit? Sure, skit. Which one? Oh, yo, can I pull up with the I Really Mean It jacket in the skit, in the skit? And, and drive the truck like you came out and I Really Mean It video? Yeah. Sure, sure, skit. No problem. Now, man, all this shit, just because I thought I liked the nigga, I thought he was kind of funny, so I'm trying to help the nigga out. Now, he was working with Joe Buttons, which is cool. I, and shout out to Joe Buttons for hiring all these washed up niggas, all these old motherfuckers who ain't got nothing else to do. Shout out to you, my nigga, because these niggas is washed, nigga. You, you open a dry cleaning business, nigga. You, you killing them with that. I asked Queens Flip for a favor because I was still mad about, you know, niggas thinking they was dissing my sports show when I first did it. So I asked him for a favor. He didn't do the favor. Now, my favor may have been a little extreme given, but that's the thing about favors. You don't never know what the favor is when you want your favor back. Don't ask for favors without making a clear-cut deal of what the favor is, because when I ask for a favor, you don't know what my favor is. He didn't do it. I blocked the nigga. I blocked him for my gram, blocked him for calling my phone, blocked the nigga, all that. Only reason I didn't really go hard on Flip, because I like the nigga genuinely. I like, and not only that, I like his son. Shout out to Queen Flip Jr. Yo, that's my man. I don't know if you're going to be upset about the video, but it is what it is. This your pops. I, I fuck with Queen Flip Jr. And I got mad respect for your mother and all the work she's doing in Queens. Mad respect for your family, bro. And when I respect niggas' family, I leave niggas alone. Like, yo, nah, I fuck with they family. It's a bunch of niggas that I like. I, look, I got a slogan, man. If I ain't touch you, if me and you got a problem, I love somebody who love you, bro. That's all it's about. Few niggas ain't just queens. If I, if I if I love somebody that love you, and we got a problem, I ain't got no problem with you. He told me, "Oh yo, today, oh yo, nobody got Melissa Ford back on this. You gonna let her stay on this? Yo, bro, have her back in what? First of all, let me tell y'all for people who didn't see it." I'm just going to tell y'all, so let's break this down A to Z real A to, A to Z real, real fast. You choose us to fucking with young people, which you have no motherfucking proof or anything like that, which we don't even fuck with anybody else. Secondly, we was underage. Thirdly, you apologize about some shit because you know you was dead wrong. One, two, three, four. Fourth, me, I say, fuck you and your apology. Stand on what you said, and I'll get to you when I get to you. I ain't even go crazy. Niggas like, oh, Kim is well. And Kim, oh, how you gonna let us stay on a lonely hill? A lonely hill? All I said is, fuck your apology, and I get to you when I get to you, and I said nothing violent for you accuse us of some more shit that's inaccurate. Now it's a lonely hill. I'm on the lonely hill, nigga. How you co-signing her saying some shit like that? Now she on the lonely hill, nigga? You co-signing bullshit. That's what you're doing. You co-signing bullshit. 
I'm on the Lonely Hill, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I can't tell y'all how much murder don't give a fuck. Y'all be thinking, see, y'all don't see makes like, murder don't give a fuck, bro. Y'all get, listen, y'all get in and let that nigga fool you. That nigga don't give a fuck, B. I be like, yo, chill. Nah, killer. Nah, it's, it's too much chill. It's too, like murder's on some, no, murder may be from the 80s. Not fucking, may, murder might be mid 80s, nigga. He been outside since he's about seven. Don't let what he got going on the show fool you. Murder is about a eight. See, murder been outside literally and I'm not gassing it because I used to see him. I, this, I used to walk to McDonald's with my mother when I was seven because I couldn't go outside by myself. Murder was on the corner by itself. I'm not no cat, no kizzy whatsoever. Murder might be like an 85 nigga. So you don't even know this nigga mentality. Anyway, Lonely Queens Flip, yo, that's some bullshit. And I'm going to leave that with, at that, my nigga. I'm going to leave that at that. You know all the shit I did for you and helped you and gave you advice and let you wear my clothes and drive my cars and wear my jewelry and come to my offices and everything else. Leave me the fuck alone, bro. I left you alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. Lonely Hill. Last thing I'll say, I just wanted y'all to get the complete story because niggas is like, oh, Kim is wild and now I'm blocked from live. And Oh, all I said was, we'll get to you when we get to for making false accusations. That bitch is on the Lonely Hill and you dead fucking wrong. Now I got more shit that I could bring out. I, I, it's called a slow drip pause. If you fuck with me, I'll slow drip you. Gynecology report, all type, I'll slow drip you, man. Pause. What I'll end is saying this. Back to Treasure Wilson and, and my show and our show. It is what it is. I want to thank all you guys for making us be number two. I, I'm going to give y'all an early... Some early shit that's going to come out on Monday. They just, Complex Sports just did the top 25 sports reporters in the world. Or in America, I should say. I'm not sure if it's the world or America, but probably America. We, me and Mace been doing this since March, I said. It's just turned December. I ain't going to tell you what number we are. But yeah, yeah, yeah. 